So today is my first official day at Berkeley. The time is now 8.48. I have a bass lesson at 10. So let's see if I make it to class on time. What's up YouTube? My name is Benjamin. I'm a musician from Cape Town, South Africa. I've been wanting to start a vlog for a while now to give you some insight into the South African music scene as both a session musician and a musician in the creative and artistic scene. But then this happened. Congratulations Benjamin on behalf of the President and the Board of Trustees. I'm delighted to announce that you're accepted in the Berklee College of Music. So I just moved to Boston and I just started the graduate program at the Global Jazz Institute at Berkeley. This is my first week. This is my first vlog. Subscribe below. Let's hit it. There you go. So I decided to call a lift because I have too much gear. Uh, so it's probably on its way. Nah. So my week started off with a bass lesson. The cool thing about Berkeley is, besides getting to choose your own teacher, instead of one hour lesson a week, you can choose two teachers and have two half an hour lessons a week. So I started off with my classical bass lesson with Susan Hagen, and then I moved on to John Lockwood, who's actually from Cape Town. If we give you a nice, clear regimen of how to warm up, sure. immediately your technique is gonna start solidifying. Who hey. like cool. it? <laughs> <laughs> so what tune do you know? We then had performance forum with Danilo Perez, who is actually the artistic director of the program. We did this exercise where we had to name like three composers that we're really into. He then went on to point out like the common tones between each of them and show us how all these composers are actually related to one another. I just came from a class with Danilo Perez. It's called Directed Study. And so every week, the different visiting artists will kind of get a, like a one-on-one -on -one chance 
or you, there's two people in the class with him. So this week, because I'm going with Danilo to New Orleans in October, I think, with a quartet, we played one of his tunes. It was very difficult. So he has this tune called Gratitude. It's like in 13. Which I was kind of fine with, but it was more like the harmonic movement because the song is so rich in harmony. The harmonic movement informs the groove, so it was killing me a bit. So I changed bass teachers, so that's where I'm going now. Uh, I'm with a bass player called Mike, Michael Pope. He's into like electric bass, double bass, electronics, effects, music technology. That's kind of my vibe. So yeah, it's going to be a vibe. Original vibe is it's on Matheny's first record, but uh So just getting some lunch. Luigi Burger with like Eggplant meatballs. So time is now 13:18. I have a jazz pedagogy class at two with Marco. Should be a vibe. Bass lesson was cool. Uh, Mike is a dope player. For sure, gonna be a vibe. essence of what we're going to do in the last three or four weeks, we're going to have to answer this question. Why music? We're in music pedagogy. My name is Tarek. I'm a percussionist. Yeah. I just came from uh, jazz pedagogy with Marco Pignataro. Yeah. This is Connor. He plays drums. Where are we headed? Oh, we're heading to Jerry Leak's class and that's the percussion. Yeah, world percussion for non-percussionists. Now with this turning phrase, it does not begin on one. The mystery of this particular rhythm is all the phrases, some of them don't even start on one, some of them land on one. So one is not the origin of the phrase, it's the destination. So this guy begins on B3. Check it out. Go hit it, get dig get, to dig get dig, to get dig get dig get dig get dig, tan tan, get dig get dig get dig get dig, ta pa dig dig, tan tan. At that point, you're into the groove. 